everybody, it's me, Stacy, here at Scrapbooking Made Simple, and it's time for Saturday with Stacy, YouTube number 254. And this YouTube is all about the next collection of simply defined dies, stamps, and foil plates. It's called Through the Year, and I think that you will find it has something for everybody. I went a little crazy with the stamps and with the foil plates. Oh my goodness gracious, but I was able to keep them at the exact same price. Okay, we'll get to there, promise, we'll get to there, but holy smokes, artichokes. If you wanted stamps that are five by seven, <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking, but I did them. I guess because so many of you said, we want bigger, but I didn't know if I could get bigger for the same price, and, and anyway, so, I've got some new stuff to show you I'm really excited about, but before we get there, I wanted to tell you about the shop that did not hop. The 2017 shop that did not hop, we are almost to the end. We have less than 200 orders left to process and fulfill, and then we are done. Yay! Which means we're just in time for the next shop that did not hop in July, which will start on July 13th. and run for about 15 days. And again, it's the same thing. It ships when it ships, you get it. You do get it, honestly. <laughs> you just gotta wait for it. But when we're talking about $32 dies, that will be $1.99 or $2.99 or, or $15 dies, that will be a dollar. Well, it is what it is. So I'm glad to say we're almost done with 2017, just in time to roll into 2018. And we are going to have um, a couple new manufacturers as part of our shop that didn't hop warehouse sale. So that's very exciting. And then I've been sneak peeking what I'm going to be for this year's shop that did not hop, which is Queen of Hearts. We will be we will be queen of hearts everywhere here in the store and my shoes have come in. Now they just need to be Stacy-fied. <laughs> so Leslie, <laughs> that's your cue. They need to be Stacy-fied. Anyway, we have got a wonderful, wonderful YouTube for you today. I have winner, winner, chicken dinner to talk about. And that was from the last YouTube, which used the wonderful, beautiful eye zinc product. And that was the diamond glitter and uh, it just, everything turned out so lovely. And the calendars were a great value and the Prima, oh my gosh, to make those cute little gifts, wonderful, wonderful. I hope you all took advantage of those awesome prices because they really were awesome prices. I mean, what can you do? Where can you do 10 gifts for 10 bucks, a dollar a gift that doesn't look like a dollar a gift and they're handmade. It was, it was rock star. So if you didn't see that YouTube, go back to YouTube number 253. Uh-huh. <laughs> and watch because you're going to love it. All right. We have winner, winner, chicken dinner to talk about. And who is it? Well, what are you going to win? Well, you're going to win a collection of that I zinc glitter, all 12 colors. Uh-huh. I think it's 12 colors. I'm pretty sure it's 12 colors. But you're going to win all of them. <laughs> are you ready to hear if it's you? All right. We have our first winner, winner, chicken dinner is Jill Letterer. Jill Letterer. You're a winner. Chicken dinner. You're a winner. Chicken dinner. Are you doing the happy dance? Did you rewind me and <laughs> play me again to hear if I actually said Jill Letterer? I, I did. Here is your name, Jill. Congratulations to you. Smile. Yee. <laughs> but you're not alone, Jill. Who's with you? Okay. We have another winner, winner, chicken dinner. It has won the I Want It All I Zinc Diamond Glitter Bundle. Are you ready? Denise Fonda, you're a winner, chicken dinner, you're a winner, chicken dinner. What a great way to start off a Saturday, right, as a winner, winner, chicken dinner. Denise, there is your name. Congratulations to you. We're so excited for you. You both are going to love, love, love the I Zinc Glitter. Love, love, love it. So, um... What do you have to do to claim your prize? Easy peasy, go to scrapbookingmadesimple.com. Look for the link that says winner, winner, chicken dinner. Click it, follow the directions, and we will get your prizes out to you just as quickly as possible. 
Wahoo Kachu. <laughs> I'm very excited because I really love that product and and I've been waiting to do something with it. I just had to wait till it all jived together. Just because you love something, just because I love a product, doesn't mean that I can YouTube it. It has to make sense. It's it, it, There has to be a purpose for it, a reason for it. You just, I try to explain this to manufacturers all the time. I just can't YouTube your product because you want me to. I'm sorry, there has to be a purpose to it. There has to be something new about it or exciting about it or it's a value or I can teach something. That's probably the most important thing. What can I teach about it? So when I saw those I Zinc Diamond Glitters in Germany, I was like, oh, they're wonderful, but I had to wait till the right moment. I had to find the right product for it to work with so that it made a wonderful teachable moment and a craft that just about everybody can afford. Okay, so Denise and Jill, congratulations. Don't forget to claim your prize, Wahoo Kachu. Remember, we are we have less than 200 of the shop that didn't hop orders to fulfill and Wahoo Kachu for that. And as that's happening, we're prepping up for 2017 shop that, or 2018 shop that didn't hop. And also what that means is it's time that we're gonna start working on Spellbinders Warehouse Sale. So if you were a pay later for Spellbinders Warehouse Sale, I would anticipate in the next, especially on day one, in the next maybe week or so, week or two, you're gonna be getting your invoice to pay for your Spellbinders Warehouse Sale from 2017. So hang tight. Once we move out of the shop that didn't hop, we start the warehouse sale for spellbinders and whew, and it we just keep we just keep rolling. <laughs> but at least it's all affordable. <laughs> all right. So, today today is all about simply defined through the year. I do have dies for you. I don't know that I'm actually going to cut many of the dies. I'm really going to be focusing on the stamps and on the foil plates, and that's where we're going to start. I I I may end up cutting a few dies, I just don't know yet. We'll have to see how it goes since this is completely and totally unscripted. <laughs> what happens here, happens here. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna tilt on down. We're gonna start for today. Are we all ready? Wahoo kachoo. Down we go, bye everybody. Down, 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 down. And then, you know, I've got to zoom in, in, in. And then down, down, down. And then in, 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 down. How does that look? A little bit more maybe? Can I get it in just a little bit tighter? Okay, I think that's good. I think that's where we're gonna go. All right, so downstairs, this is the free make and take that's going on right now. And you can see that it is foiled. This is one of my new foiling plates. And yes, it is definitely holiday related. That's gonna drive me crazy. Okay, maybe. Of course, by the time I'm all done with it, it's gonna be all over my desk anyway. <laughs> but this is the free make and take that's going on downstairs. And we took my foil plate and a little bit of watercolor and made a beautiful, did we put it on the inside? Yep, and then when you open it up, bam! There is one of my dies that says Season's Greetings. So this is the make and take going on downstairs and we did it in two colors for the customers so they could choose, do they wanna do the green or the red? But look at how pretty that foil is. Love, love, love. And then, bam, joy to the world. <laughs> <laughs> now, just like with sentiment through the year has corners to go with it and there's a million different ways to use these dies, but it's the foil plates and the uh, stamps that I really went a little hog wild crazy over. All right, so I'm gonna move these out of the way and we're gonna start for today. And I did do several stamps, I did three of them to be exact. I was playing with this one. I did a music note stamp. Music notes. I did a plaid stamp, which is actually two stamps in, in the set. You get here, you get here. So you get both of these stamps and when you put them together, look at what it does. I think I could be the first person 
to ever, and I could be wrong, you know, don't zing me if I'm wrong. It's possible. I don't go out there and look all over the place because really we don't have time. I really just try to focus on what I do and try to do what I do the best I can do. But two stamps to make up the plaid. And that way you can mix and match your colors because I've always found with plaid stamps it's just one stamp to give you the plaid and you could only ink it in one color. Now you can do the background in one color and the top in the other color and have a true plaid. So I, uh, and they are five by seven. My stamps are five by seven. They're really big. Several of you said we want bigger stamps. Okay, but I didn't know if I could do it and I don't know how long I'll be able to do it. But the 5x7 stamps are retailing for $9.99 and the plaid set that has two stamps is retailing for only $13.99 for two. Now you can use this one all by itself and you can use this one all by itself or you can mix the two and make a true plaid. But the one we're going to start with today, the one we're going to start with today is the one that I was playing with for the make and take. It is my, they're all background stamps. I wanted to do background stamps, especially for the holidays. So we're gonna be playing here today. And I have got my stamp right here. It is a clear stamp. I've put it on a Ducrafts block. Now we have to give Ducrafts some serious props. They made a set of blocks for Scrapbooking Made Simple, not exclusive to me, but they made them for me because I asked for them. This is, they have a smaller set of blocks where you get five blocks for $12.50, which is an amazing value. But I wanted to do bigger stamps and their largest block wouldn't let me do it. So I said, I need a block, I need a set of stamp, uh, blocks that are much bigger. And in this set, you get the little storage tray you get the big six by eight block and then you get three smaller and if you have both sets already you know that both that none of the size blocks overlap if you have the first set or the and the second set you have nine different block sizes which is awesome and it allows for my largest uh, stamps to fit right on no problem easy peasy so how much does this set cost i want to say it's under $11 for all of it. The whole thing is under $11. And then we'll have it on a YouTube Yummy. The beautiful thing is they're thick, but not too thick. They're not wafer thin, but they're not too, I mean, they're not too thick. They've got a really nice, beautiful feel to them. You can feel the pressure you're putting on them. They are gridded. And for under $11, I know, I know companies that sell this one block, a five by seven block for almost $20. So here you're getting the whole set, including the cute little storage. Look at that, it fits right in for under $11. All right, so we're gonna be playing with this one today. And I'm gonna start super easy because I wanna show people who maybe don't have the foiling capability, how they can have a look of really beautiful foil or at least a glittery look without having to spend too much money. and because the go press and foil we will get to that absolutely but that is that machine is a little bit more money it's a beautiful machine but i didn't want the people who ne can't necessarily afford it feel like they can't have the same thing and that's why if you see i've got here's the foil this is done in foil but i did the stamp as well so if you don't have a go press and foil you're going to be able to do something similar with just the stamp and the stamp is only $9.99. So let's play. Now I'm gonna be working with my Essentials glue pad. Love my Essentials glue pad. Love, love, love it. It comes like this. This is how it's sold. I wanna say it's, I don't know, $9.99, something like that. What you need to know, this is dry. There is no, 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 no glue on this at all. Dry, dry, dry. Now when you get it, some people think that this is like a reinker and that you just take this whole bottle and get this really glued up. 
No, stop. This is the glue that you use, but you only use enough for the project you're working on. So you're going to glue this every time you use it. You're not going to empty this right on there the first time you get it. No, no, no. And it has a little lid. You want to keep that lid so that it keeps the, um, the glue from, well, the pad really never dries out. I have to be honest with you. I've had mine for years and years and years. And once you run out of the glue, you never buy the pad again. You just buy the refill of this. But I want to be sure that when you get yours, or if you already have it, don't put all of this on top of there at one time. Now, my glue pad is looking a little sad. Okay, can you see it's a bit ugly? Okay, no worries. I don't care how much stuff I get on this. I don't care how much glitter or embossing powder or whatever. It is still good. If you can get over it looking yucky, don't throw it away. Just keep re-inking it or re-gluing it. Now I have put my clear stamp right on my block. And for those of you who have never seen a clear stamp before, this is an acrylic, my acrylic block. Nice piece of heavy acrylic. My stamp clings on and off my acrylic block. So it goes on and it comes off. Well, that was vice versa. It goes on and it comes off <laughs> and it just sticks by cling. Now, for some reason, if your stamp stops clinging, chances are your finger oils or embossing powder or glitter has got on the back of it, the smooth side. And that smooth side is what's going, what you cling to your block because you need that raised side to add ink to or glue is what we're going to do and make it look pretty. So, all right. So I am going to take my glue and I've got my glue pad and I'm going to go Z, 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 just a little bit. The longer you own your glue pad, the better it is. It's just like a, a, a copper pan or skillet. The longer you use it, the more seasoned it is, the better it is. Now you can see that there's glue on there. Now I'm not going to press hard. I'm just going to kind of go all over. I'm not pressing hard. my lid back on and I have put my little plastic lid inside with a piece of foam so I don't lose my lid. Just put it right there, little baby wipe, wipe off my hands. This glue is water soluble so when you're done using it you're going to wipe off your stamp with just a wet wipe, a baby wipe, inexpensive baby wipe. Now because the stamp is so big instead of turning it over and stamping like this. I'm going to keep it upright and put my paper down and stamp it like this. Now I've just cut some paper, but the stamp is obviously substantially bigger than the paper I'm using. It is a five by seven stamp. So those of you who have been saying, can you make the stamps a little bit bigger? We like how it looks when you kind of stamp off when there's no border around the outside of the stamp. And I did, and I have to tell you, wahoo kachu for, for negotiating because I was able to get the price on these um, for $9.99 for a five by seven stamp. And that's, that's really good. I'm really happy about that because it's really our goal here to keep things affordable, which is why when the shop that didn't hop comes around, <laughs> the prices are so great. But at the same time, we can't hire more people. There's not a lot of money. When you're selling a die for a dollar, there's not a lot of profit. <laughs> but if you couldn't afford the die at $20 and now it's a dollar, it makes my heart happy when I see the emails from people who say I could have never afforded this. So thank you for keeping it affordable for us. That makes my heart happy. All right, I'm gonna pull it up. And you are going to see kind of maybe a watermark. Oh, okay, there. Can you see that watermark? 
Now, I'm going to do it one more time. I'm going to sit that right over there. And yes, I'm going to add just a little bit more glue. I don't need to add a lot because it's already quite glued up. Just kind of spread it around a little bit. I'm not going to wash this off yet. And I'm just going to, once again, tap, 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 tap. Let's grab one more piece of white paper and let's put it down and nice press. You don't want to rub like this because you don't want to schmear. Schmear is for bagels, not for your... <laughs> I have to tell you, it's like 8 o'clock in the morning and I've been here since 6.30 this morning getting ready to do this and I'm hungry. <laughs> So, schmear is for bagels, which sounds really good right now. <laughs> All right. Nice little press, because if I rub this way and I rub it, that glue is going to slip and slide. Okay, let's pull it off. You can see my impression. Can you see it? The glue there. I'm going to put this one to the side, and I am going to do one more. Now I'm not going to add any more glue. I'm just going to re-glue it up. It's got enough glue for now. Ooh. See it's tacky. It's pulling it off my block. This time I'm going to grab a piece of black mirror paper. Oh, right? A little bit of happiness right there, huh? And I'm just going to put it right on. Now the black mirror paper is from Tonic Studios. It's part of their Craft Perfect line. And I am in love with their mirror paper, but I'm even more in love with their satin paper. And I'm going to be using the satin paper when we use the foils. Okay, so I want to give nice press. Just kind of give a nice little back massage. Peel up. Oh, and can, oh, can you see? Oh, <laughs> I know it's good already, right? <laughs> you could just let that dry and have that watermark on there and nothing else. That's an idea. What if you just let the glue dry? Well, this glue is a two way glue. It's going to stay tacky. It's not going to dry. But what if you used a regular? Oh, my goodness gracious. OK, that looks fabulous just as is. But that's not what we're doing. So I have to get back to what we're doing. So I've got my two pieces of white paper that I've already done. I am going to just take this and grab a wet wipey and give it a little wipe down. So being that the glue is water soluble, it comes off really easy. If you wanted to put it under the sink for a few seconds with some palm olive or Dawn dishwashing detergent, that's perfectly fine. But your wet wipe is also going to work just great. And I am going to move this over here for just a moment. Now I'm going to come back to my, my paper. And I have two that are white and I think, I think I think I'm going to grab a piece of white paper just to make a little workspace. So I've got my, and the thing with this glue is you want to let it go tacky. So you want to waft it, you want to do five or six of these in a row, and then come back and work on your first one. The longer it goes tacky, the better it is. It's the one time in your life you want to be tacky. You do, you want to be tacky. Because if you put your glitter on this or whatever you're going to be using on this before this glue has a chance to go tacky, when it dries, you're going to be able to wipe it all off. All of it, oh, all of it off. So let's play. Let's just do 
Let's just do one color. Let's use gold. I've got my Nouveau Pure Sheen Glitter. It is an ultra fine, it is not a micro fine, but it is going to work beautifully on this. And I'm gonna drizzle, drizzle, drizzle. Now because I'm using one color and I'm not combining my colors, I really could just dump, dump, dump because whatever I don't use, I'll be able to put back into my bottle. If I was gonna combine my colors and commingle them, then I would need a little pot of mishmash because you wouldn't want to contaminate your glitter. Now, you can already see that where that glue is, that glitter is holding to it. You can already see that. And now I'm gonna take my finger and I'm not gonna rub, rub, rub. I'm gonna rub, rub, rub. There's a difference. We're not burnishing. This is not micro fine glitter where you need to burnish it to make it come alive. This is ultra fine, which is a little chunkier than a micro fine. So the little pieces are a little bit bigger. So they already bling more. And if you rub, 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 you're going to end up to perhaps smearing that glue and we don't want to do that. So we want to rub, rub, rub. Just a nice little back massage. Just a nice, nice little rub down. Nothing intense, nothing hard. You're just trying to move that glitter onto the stamped design where the glue is. And you're just gonna move it, move it, move it. Isn't that from the movie of Rio? I want to move it, move it. So where it's still sticky a little bit or where it's not blingy enough, you move the glitter right over it. If it's still a little tacky in a spot, move glitter right over it. And that glitter is only going to adhere where that stamped image is. So that's where I'm at right now. And then I'm gonna take my inexpensive makeup brush. This is from the e.l.f. line, um, Target, Walmart, maybe the Dollar Tree, a dollar, or at least it used to be a dollar. Maybe it's a dollar fifty now. Don't spend any more than that on a, on a, what they call a mop brush to clean up the, the excess off dollar fifty easy peasy okay how pretty is that and that is done in glitter right looks good huh so pretty it's blingy but not too blingy you could absolutely take and Put behind, put on top of it. Let's see, where's one of my words? So Merry Christmas could go on it without any problem. Um, who do I have? What do I have? I have, oh, I love Joy to the World. That might be one of my favorites. Joy to the World. And you've got a beautiful background, simply made just with white paper, some inexpensive glitter. This is the Nouveau brand from Tonic. This big old bottle, I want to say it's $7.99. Okay, truth here now. If you buy this, buy it with a friend. If you go into it, share it with a friend because you could take half of this bottle, go to the Dollar Tree and get a whole bunch of little tubs and split this glitter in half both of you share the cost. You're going to have this glitter for the rest of your life. There is a lot of glitter in here, a lot. So remember what I said, I've got the excess. I didn't contaminate it because I didn't mix my colors and I can put it right back. Gosh, I wish I had my glitter cleanup cloth. I wonder if I have one handy. Got my do not touch. Oh, and look it so I do my glitter cleanup cloth. And 
No fuss, no muss, glitter cleanup. Ta-da! Glitter cleanup cloth. Best thing in the world. It comes. It's really huge. This is about an eighth of the size. I cut them down to size and then when I'm done with it, um, you can either alcohol ink it and use it as a uh, as an embellishment and die cut it or just toss it. But um, this again is about an eighth of the size. They're huge. So, did this one in just the gold. Now, let's grab put my glitter. Let's grab this one. Remember, this was the second white one I did. And here, maybe I should have grabbed red. I didn't grab red glitter. So we'll use green. Maybe I want to drizzle it just in some places because I can see where those little holly poinsettia really cute. And I'm going to take a little bit of my green and with the back of my fussy tweezers, I'm going to drizzle it where I want it to be. So everywhere I see one of those little hollies or poinsettias, I'm going to drizzle a little bit of glitter there in the green. So I'm looking, looking, looking. A little bit of green here. And I'm not going to mush that green around yet. So where I can see some holly, some poinsettia, I'm just adding a little bit of green with the back of my fussy tweezers. I think that's good. Now, for the rest of it. So right now, what I've got, it looks like a polka dotted hot mess. Now, I'm going to take my gold and I'm just going to drizzle, drizzle, drizzle. So remember what I said about mixing my glitter? Well, now I'm mixing my glitter because I'm adding gold to green. So I'm not going to be able to put this back into either my gold tub or my green tub. I'm going to need a mishmash pot. So if you have a little Tupperware, you're going to save the extras that come off of this and use it in your mishmash pot. And can you see I'm not sprinkling around too much. You can always add more glitter, but once you've shaken it out of the jar, it's really hard to put it back if you're if you are uh, commingling. So again, pretty much a hot mess. Then I'm going to take my finger, and again, I'm not going to rub, rub, rub. I'm going to rub, rub, rub. And I'm just going to rub those colors. Blend those colors. And the idea is that eventually you get to where you know how much glitter you really need to put down so that you have virtually no waste. No waste is ideal. But being that tonic gives you so much glitter. Now you can use some of the wow glitter to do this but not all of the wow glitter is ultra fine some of it is really chunky and it gives you far more sparkle this is not as chunky as a lot of the wow glitter it's not as fine as a micro fine but it does do it does do the job okay now for my mop brush so this is where i'm at now i can take my mop brush And we are talking no fuss, no muss glitter. Once it's down, it's not going to move. And now, 
where my cute little holly is or my poinsettias are. I've got them in green. It's not just a one tone. So pretty. And again, when it's down, it's down. It's not gonna, now you can rub as hard as you want because it's not going to come off. It is an easy way of using glitter without getting glitter absolutely everywhere. It doesn't have to sparkle up your whole, well, you may want it to sparkle up your whole dining room table if that's where you're crafting, <laughs> but it doesn't have to. Glitter doesn't have to be pow. It can be pow, and it doesn't have to make a mess everywhere. It can be very contained and yet beautiful. All right, but we still have one more to do. Remember, I did the black. And now it's been sitting there for quite some time, right? Because we've been doing this and talking and working. It's been sitting there for quite some time. I think I'm going to take the silver. We'll see how the silver looks. I have no idea how the silver looks. And we're going to take our, this is actually like mirror ball. It's, I think that's what they call it. I think it's called mirror ball and it's kind of a silvery iridescent -y. and same thing I'm gonna drizzle 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 Ooh, okay dump don't worry if that happens just use a little bit less somewhere else because you're just gonna take your finger and move that right over and I'm just gonna want to cover this all up and if I have to tap in a little bit more that's okay. I would rather tap in a little bit more once I see where I've missed or if I didn't have enough than to use too much. But we're not commingling our color, so I could put this back into my bottle. Okay. Again, pretty much kind of a hot mess. But then you take your finger and that hot mess instantly turns into fabulous. And remember, that's been sitting there for quite some time, and it is still holding my glitter without any problem. So any place I feel where it's still a little tacky or not shiny enough, I'm going to move that glitter over there. That's where I'm at, but now I need to dust it off. And when you dust it off, that's when you get the full effect. Let's see if I can. What do you think? Looks pretty good on that mirror paper, doesn't it? <laughs> oh my gosh. And then I suppose if we cut it down, let's just cut off our sides. Well, it's not quite a perfect shape of a card, but what if we took it and then backed it Onto that, oh, onto that really rich red satin, or onto the really, really rich blue. How pretty is that? And it is glittered, but it's not glittered so much that it's a kapow. It's beautiful, and when it's dry, it's dry. And I left it sit there for how long? So let me clean up my mess real quick. I'm not going to bother putting that away. Glitter clean up cloth.
Some people will do theirs in a coffee filter because they're non-staticky. Just depends upon what makes your heart happy. So we did, we did just the plain, just the plain gold. We did multicolor. And then we did it on a specialty paper, the mirror paper, which gives it a regal look. And the mirror paper, the I want to say it's two dollars and ninety nine cents, and I think you get five sheets, and it comes in twelve colors maybe, and so does the satin. They're beautiful. Now that's for you to start creating with. Heck, honestly, all you need to do is put a ribbon, mount the. You could mat it onto some, mat it onto some paper, tie a ribbon around it, and put Merry Christmas in the center, and you're good because that's basically what we did with this one. And then we put the die cut sentiment inside. And you've got beautiful, simple, easy. Okay, so that's playing with the glitter. Now we're going to play with the foil plates. And I'm going to be using my Go Press and Foil machine along with my Big Shot machine. So a Go Press and Foil machine, here it is. This is what it looks like. It's a heating element. This piece slides out and goes through almost any major um, die cutting machine as long as it accepts the thick steel rule dies. So a grand caliber from Spellbinders, not so much. A platinum from Spellbinders, absolutely. A big kick, a big shot, a vagabond, a big shot pro, a big shot plus, you bet. I think Gemini's are thin only. So if it's a thin only, no can do on a Gemini. Now the most important thing about this is to turn it on. When you plug it in, you're going to see that little red light. That just means you plugged it in. You must push the button. Did you see? Now it's blinking. Now it's not. So now it's not turned on. The red light just lets you know it's plugged in. You have to see it blinking. That means the heating element is starting to heat up and you will feel it. How hot does this get? It gets pretty warm. Don't get me wrong. Is it going to burn you? No, it's not going to burn you. Do you want to be sure to be careful if little ones are around? Yes, you want to be careful. I mean, it is it is getting it is getting quite warm because it's going to do a heat transfer. This is not a laminator. This doesn't work off of a toner based um, uh, paper. And so this goes through your die cutting machine versus a laminator and that's what I like about it is that you get to use it with something you already may own as opposed to having to go out and get a laminator. Now let me move let me move this to there this to there we're gonna have to kind of juggle. <laughs> Actually I think I'm gonna leave this there and I'll pull it from there. So it's turned green that means it's hot but I'm not ready because I haven't put anything in there yet. I'm going to be playing with my set of foil plates that does the plaid. Remember I showed you that I have the stamps that match. These are the foil plates and you get both foil plates in the set. I am not going to lie. It is not an inexpensive set because you're getting the two foil plates. I also did the music note background that we have the stamp set. And these are full A2 size. And I have obviously the one that I showed you we're doing the make and take with, the holly where I used the stamp set. So the foil plates, they retail for $19.99 because they're a full background size. They're full A2. Here you're getting two A2 foil plates for in the same set. So you are able to do the plaid look. They should be, if it's $19.99, they should be, what, uh, $39.99 for two. 
but we did them for $29.99 and I know that's a price but the idea of having the plaid was that you could use any foil colors you want these aren't meant for Christmas these are meant for everything if you use um, blues and browns you've got a beautiful guy plaid if you use pinks and greens you have a baby plaid it or a summer plaid if you use bright yellows and bright reds i mean it the plaid is meant to be all year round there's nothing specific about it that says christmas there's nothing specific about it that says holiday what makes it specific is what foils you decide to mix together if you decide to mix those two together well you've got a much more summery happy looking um, card. If I were to mix, let's say, these two together, I've got more of a guy card. If I were to mix, oh my foils are rolling into each other, sticking to each other. If I were to mix the red and the gold, wherever my gold went, then, or red and silver, then maybe you would have a Valentine's Day foil. It's all dependent upon what it is, the colors of foil you're using, and that will change how the plaid looks when you're done. So we're going to play with it, and I'm going to start with just regular paper. So I'm going to grab just some regular paper, and I'm always going to start, now I could do them just individually, let's see if I can run those through really fast, just individually. So first thing I'm going to do is bring my Go Press and Foil on over, I'm going to open it up and I'm going to stick my plate down. Now I need the plate that's got the ridges in it facing up, the flat side is going to go down against the non-stick surface here, non-stick surface, and I'm just going to do this one as a background and let's use know, let's just use some green now the foils are from couture creation as well and they've kept their foil ridiculously inexpensive you get five meters of foil which is over 15 feet for two dollars and eighty cents now how do you know which way to put the foil down shiny side or the doll side how do you know which is the right way? Well, if you were holding your card facing you, and when you peel this off the top, you want to see that pretty foil. What do you want to see when your card is done? Do you want to see this beautiful green foil, or do you want to see this blah silver backing? No, you want to see the beautiful green foil. That tells you that if you were looking at the card, you need the pretty side facing you, okay? And then that pretty side faces down against the plate. Now, every, every die cutting machine is different. Every die cutting machine is different. This machine is the same. This machine doesn't vary. What varies is what kind of die cutting machine you've had and how often you use it and how loose it is. For my machine to make it work, I need to take a piece of 100 pound cardstock, fold it in half, and use it as a shim. You may not need to do that, but I don't recommend buying this machine unless you are willing to take about an hour of your time, of your crafty time. In the box, they give you two rolls of foil and play until you find out what shim works the best. If you have a platinum machine, you may only need one piece of 100 pound cardstock. You may not need any. My Big Shot machine is going to be different than your Big Shot machine because it's all dependent on how much you use that machine. Now, it's clicking red. That means it's not ready. Can you see it's clicking red? It's not ready. But if you were to take, oh, and then it just went green. If you were to take about an hour, with no expectation at all of what the machine can do. Just play, no expectation at all. 
you will find yourselves very, 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 very happy with a GoPress and foil machine. If you put a plate in there and foil and paper on your first go around and run it through and it doesn't come out perfect and you think, oh, it's, it's not working. It is working, but it has to work to your die cutting machine. This variable never changes. What changes is your machine. Now it's turned green, which tells me that it's gonna be hot enough. So I'm gonna bring up my Big Shot machine and I'm gonna pull this right out, pulls right out, and I'm gonna roll it through. Now, we die cutters, we roll through at the whip smack and pace of, of, of crazy. We wanna get it in and back as quickly as we possibly can. But with this, you need to have a little more patience. You need to sing, twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Because we're not cutting, we're transferring. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little, okay, it's done. <laughs> you need to have, you need to give it a little more time. You need to, you can't rush back and forth. It's not a die. Now we're gonna open and I'm gonna put actually this back in. I wanna put this back in right away because I constantly want it to be getting hot. We're gonna open, we're gonna pull. I'm gonna leave that right where it is and Ta-da! So if all you wanted was that background, you can do just that background. But remember, I have this one too, because it comes with the two. So I'm gonna take this one out and I'm gonna let that one heat. This is going to be hot. How are you going to get it out if you don't wanna touch it? And I would not throw this away, not for anything. There is a way to get that off. I show you how to get that off. That's a whole nother YouTube, or you can just use it like that. But I would not throw that away. That's good. There's no waste in this. Okay, so these little tweezers come with the Go Press and Foil machine. What do you do? You close them. Pick up your plate. Move it to your craft mat, and they give you a silicone mat in case you don't have a craft mat. That way you don't burn anything. Open your tweezers. They're really not meant to do what a tweezer normally does, which is this. No, you close them to pick it up and you open them to release it. And that way you're not touching anything that's warm. I'm gonna, but it cools off pretty quickly. I'm gonna put that right there onto my, <laughs> onto my magnetic and I'm gonna put this guy in. Now remember, I'm blinking. That tells me it's not hot enough. So that means I have time to pull another color and cut myself another piece. And down. Now remember, if I wanna see that on my finished card, when I peel it off, that's going to be facing you. And then you take it and you put it right down on top of your foil plate. Put my piece of 100 pound paper in there, double so, or my, which has been folded in half, so it's actually about 200, and it's turned back to blinking. Now, let's say you push it on and it doesn't do it, it just turns on and it's not, you push the button and it's not blinking. Unplug it and do it again. Most often, you just need to unplug and then it'll start blinking when you push the button, but you have to remember to push that button. And if you were to leave this for any length of time, I wanna say it's about 20 minutes. It has a built-in timer and it's going to turn itself off automatically. The light will remain on, the red one, because it's still plugged in, but it won't be blinking anymore. And that means the heating element won't be on. So if you were to walk away and forget to turn it off, it's going to turn itself off for you. You don't have to worry about that. Oh, see, blinking again because I sat too long. So shall we try anyway? Shall we give it a whirl? Okay, maybe. All right, well, 
No. Oh, it just turned green. Ha ha. <laughs> Let's see what happens with this one. And again, you're going to slow your roll. No matter whose machine you're using, you're going to slow your roll. And it rolls through very easily. It almost feels like it's not doing anything. And that's because it doesn't need the same pressure as a die cut. It's not, it's not cutting through anything. The roll is to be used as a transfer. It's just adding pressure. All right, let's see how we did. First things first, I'm gonna bring this right back over and I'm gonna plug it right back in because I want it to be heating all the time. So let's see what we got. I'm gonna move this that way. Isn't that so cute? <laughs> so you kind of have the lattice and you have the top, the more open. Okay, but the goal is to put them together, but you don't have to put them together. You can use them independently of each other. And they do not scream anything. They, they, they're not Christmas, they're not Halloween, they're not guy, they're not baby. They are what you want them to be. As is the music notes. The music note um, plates can be used for anything. The Holly one, a little more specific, and Pence said a little more specific to Christmas but I am in love with the plaid. And again, I have this piece here. Would not throw it away. Oh, no, no, no. If you've got a squishy and a knock knock and my conversion plate, you're gonna be able to take that and pull that off and have zero, zero waste. So do not, and if you don't, that's okay. Just tape it down like that. How fab is that? Oh my gosh. Okay, so now let's see if we can put one of them together. So I'm going to pull this one off because I'm going to want to put this one on. Hot. Drop it right down on my craft mat. My craft mat is, um, first off, it doesn't move. It doesn't, it, it doesn't slide around. Can you see I'm trying to slide it and it doesn't? It sticks to your table and it's heat resistant. So I was the very, 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 very first one to have a craft mat like this. I don't know that I'm the only one anymore. <laughs> Which... I suppose imitation is the highest form of flattery. <laughs> okay, so what do I wanna do this one in? Um, how about we do it maybe in the brown and the blues? What do you think? Maybe I'll do it, let's use this blue. This blue looks beautiful. This blue is not open yet. It is now. Okay, so I'm just gonna get rid of that. myself a piece, get myself a piece of paper, that's a little wide, that's a little small, but that's okay, we'll make it work. Okay, I want to see the blue. If this is you looking at your card and you peel it off, you want to see that blue. So then I'm going to take it and I'm going to put it upside down. And I'm just kind of going to try and line it up to a corner. Just want to make sure that it's on the hole. There we go. If I, I think that's good. Put my 100 pound shim in. My 100 pound piece of paper folded in two. And this is now cool to the touch, no problem that over there and let it it says green but I think it's lying now that I have put everything in there it's going to take it a moment to heat up again and this will probably turn back to red and start blinking again and then as it's trying to heat through the now we've added the paper and the foil and the shim so let's just give it a few minutes and see what happens well not even a few minutes let's go oh, see told you turned red it's blinking it says not ready yet. 
but because I've kept this, I kept putting this back in every time, it takes less and less time for it to heat. So you're not, oh, see, done. You're not sitting there waiting and waiting and waiting. As long as you keep putting that heating element right back in, you're good to go. And what do we have to do? Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. And I'm done. Bring this right back over, put it right back in, open it up, and let's see what we've got. I've got my blue. Oh, is that pretty, right? Okay, now I need to take that blue off with my tweezers, put it right down on my mat, and I'm gonna bring the rest of my plaid over. And I'm going to use, oh, I don't know what I wanna use. Maybe I'll use the green so it's really, really contrasting. Let's try the green and see what happens. Just really, really contrasting. So I'm gonna take my same paper and put my green right over the top of it. Same paper. And I'm gonna kinda line it back up, kinda get it up into a corner doesn't have to be exact, just has to be on the plate. Make sure that it's on the plate. There we go. Close enough. Put my shim right over the top. Close it up. And this one's almost, this one's almost cool to the touch. It's almost ready that I can pick it up without any problem. This is green. I know it's fibbing. I know that in a moment it might turn red and start blinking again, but I've been smart and I kept keeping my heating element heating while I'm doing other things getting ready so that it is staying as warm as it can so that it doesn't take up, oh, there we go, it doesn't take as long. There we go. Now I'm gonna, oh, they're in. I think this, everybody's in already. It's, it's almost time to open the store. I'm here really early. <laughs> really early today. Okay, now if you don't like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, and perhaps there's two or three of you doing this at the same time, you could do a round of row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Now, if you do it in the round, when I start and get to row, row, row your boat, then you start and we have a whole round of row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. What you have to remember is to not run it through so fast because you're not die cutting. You're transferring. See, there's my mat, doesn't move. Okay, let me move this one on over. And you've now got a plaid. Yay! You've now got a true plaid in any color that you want. You can do anything with it. The foils are $2.80 a roll for 15 feet. Okay, 15 feet's gonna go a really long way. But oh my gosh.
Wouldn't this make the cutest background for a little boy card? And you've got some cars on there and it's just, it's meant for everything. Okay, so I'm gonna move that one aside. What if we did it on, What if we did it on the matte paper? This red matte is beautiful. Again, it's by Craft Perfect, which is a Tonic Studio product. Do I have a gold? Oh, I do have a gold. I'm gonna grab my gold. Ooh. And it's not just any gold, it's got these iridescent lines, which when you look at it this way, you're like, oh, that's gonna be too much, but it really isn't too much. What if we started with a, I don't know, that's kind of a blue black, but what if we try it anyway? You think that'll be too dark? I don't know, we're gonna give it a whirl. All it can do is go, no, it didn't work. Okay, so let me cut a piece off. And let's bring over my machine. Should we do the gold as the background? Maybe we should do the gold for the background. I'm so indecisive. I have too many colors to play with. I wanna say there's about 72 colors of the, um, do we have 60 or 72 colors of the foil? Which means you can make any combination your little heart wants, which is sometimes I have to, well, what do I want? I don't know what I want. <laughs> okay, and what did I do with my tweezers? My tweezers, pick it up, put it down, move that over, bring this one back. I want to see this on my card. Now you can see that there's a couple little, you know, it's like not 100% perfect, but that's okay. I'm going to put it down and we're going to go with it. I'm going to kind of line this on up. I think this might be a little bit big. Oh no, it could be okay. Make sure that it is on. Feels like it's on. And take my, and there we go. And let's see what happens. Now it's blinking red because it's not ready. Row, row, row your boat. Well, oh, oh, we're not rolling yet. <laughs> okay, now it's green. <laughs> I still think it's fibbing. I still think it needs another minute or two. Well, it really does. I mean, a few seconds more. I say a minute or two, but it's really not. It's a, just a few seconds more. What do you think? Should we give it a try? All right, all that can happen is that it doesn't transfer all the way. Oh, see, it just turned red. See, it just started to blink. I'm gonna go with it anyway. Ready? Roll, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Now, if it turns out that your machine needs more shims, then Add another shim, even if you just have to put it right on top. Just add another shim. If that's what it's going to take to get the pressure that you need, just do it. That's why you need to play with it for an hour or so, so you learn what it is you need it to do. I might have too much pressure there this time, but I wanted to show you can add another shim without any problem. Okay. Oh, it didn't transfer. It, well, it wasn't hot enough. See, not hot enough. No transfer. I needed to give it. I needed to let it wait just a little bit more, but it did a beautiful little job of embossing. <laughs> Looks great on that paper, huh? Embossed beautifully. <laughs> Oh, that's sad. That makes my heart hurt. We'll have to do it again. All right, well, let's grab the black. We'll have to do it again. Boo-hoo. That's what happens when you don't let it get hot enough. 
All right, let's do it again. What color do we want? Do we still want to use the do we still want to use the gold? I don't know, maybe we'll do silver for the black. And then red on the top. Let's try again. Boo-hoo. See, and I should have this in there heating while I'm doing this. So let's bring it back and let's let it heat. All right. Shiny side that you want to see. Let's try again. Put it down. Got my shim. I want to make sure that it's lined up sort of. That it's all the way on. That feels good. And this time we're going to let it heat up. It's blinking. Now it says it's green, but I think it was fibbing like I thought it was fibbing last time. I did. So in the meantime, while that's doing that, I can kind of show you some of the dies. So here's Merry Christmas. And yes, it comes with the corners. And each set has um, the availability to do... Can I get it open? So each set has the, the actual word die. Then it has the frame. So if you wanted to cut the whole thing out, you would take use both of these. If you wanted to have a background color to this, you can do that. And you get all of the corners. And each set has two different corners. So you can use these all the way around. This one has corners up here and different corners up there. You can cut in, you can cut out, you can just use the frames of the corners. You have options. There are lots and lots and lots of dies in this set. And it retails for $9.99 when you buy it in the I Want It All bundle. And there's six dies that come with the I Want It All bundle or $13.99 if you just happen to want the Merry Christmas but you can use the corners by themselves. You can use just the frames for the corners. If you just wanted to cut out corner frames like that, you could. You don't have to use the decor die as part of it. Lots and lots of options. Oh, it's green. Okay, I think I stalled long enough. Let's try again and see what happens. Okay, are we ready? Roll, roll, roll your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. And then back. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Okay. Oh, yeah, see? We waited till it got hot enough. Okay, so now, can you see where there's these little pieces that aren't where they're supposed to be? You just rub them right out. You just rub them right out. There's my mop brush. See how this got a little piece where it's not supposed to be? Rub it right out. Okay, wahoo, beautiful. But now let's add another color. Let's take this one out. So now you see what happens when you don't let it get hot enough. Let's close this up. Let's put it back in so it can continually be getting hot. And suppose we could go with the red and see what happens. Right up. Get rid of that first little roll. Let's cut another piece. This time I need to have 
my top layer. Remember, flat side down, side that has the ridges up. Let's let it keep getting hot while I cut a piece of this out. And I might just trim this down just a little bit so I can find my edges easier. I want to see this on my paper. I'm going to see that. So now I'm going to kind of line it on up. Make sure that it is on my plate. I think my paper is probably a little bit big. But we're going to give it a whirl. Close it up and let's let it get warm. So, <laughs> back to dyes. <laughs> Here's Joy to the World, super cute. Same thing, you get the center die that does the words, you get the frame die, you get two different corner dies, so you can use these top and bottom, or look at, you've got the cute little snowflakes down there, and a flourish up here. So if you cut these four times, well twice, because you have two of them, you could do all four. If you cut these twice, you can have it on all four corners, but I didn't just do Christmas. I wanted to do a little bit more than Christmas so that it, it was through the year. This one says, with much gratitude. Because when can you not use that? With much gratitude, it's, it's a very lovely thank you. Without a thank you, everybody's got thank you, but I love with much gratitude because it just says a little bit more. And we have, um, well, we have season's greetings, and then I have wishing you blessings. Again, doesn't have to be just for, it, it's not Christmas, it's all the time. Wishing you blessings is all the time. With much gratitude, it's, it's through the year that you can use these. And then I threw in a happy Thanksgiving because happy Thanksgiving tends to be hard to find. <laughs> Who would have thunk? Okay, do we dare? Do we take a chance? Has it been hot enough? Do you think? Do we roll with the punches and see what happens? The drama, the suspense, it's killing me. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> I told you it's early. <laughs> oh, and wouldn't you know it, it just turned red. Okay, we're gonna throw caution to the wind, folks, and we're gonna see what happens. Twinkle, twinkle, lit star how I wonder what you are up above the world so high like a diamond in the sky twinkle twinkle little star <laughs> well maybe we should move on to itsy bitsy spider <laughs> okay I don't know. I'd like to think so. Should I peek? Oh. And I've got my plaid. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> and then I can trim it down. Of course, I'm freehanding, but I need to put this back in. That way it stays warm. I'm not going to throw this away because I can use this. I'm going to trim it down. Yay! I really wanted it on my, I really wanted it on my, on my red, but then I could use my red satin for a mat. I mean, 
love the plaid and such different looks and if you don't have a go press and foil don't worry we have the stamp set and you'll be able to take whatever inks you have stamp your lightest color and then your darker color or vice versa you'll be able to use your inks instead and make a plaid with your stamp because you have two different stamps to do it with most plaids are just the all over pattern you get one color that's it that is not what i wanted exciting <laughs> i wanted fun and again if you don't want to just if you don't want to use the whole stamp together you can do i have the other one you can use just the stamp or the foil plates on their own. You don't have to mix them and combine them to do this. But it's pretty rock star when you do. It looks really, 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 really great. And being that you've got either the mirror or the satin as your background, that almost takes on a whole nother look of foil. Easy peasy. And if you prefer, you can use it with your glitter you have options lots of options with this last you know, next it's not last the next collection of simply defined and not only do we have the six dies for you but i have got a must-haves for you well let me show you everything that we've got going on let me show you everything we've got going on so pretty though so what did we do today or my gosh you can just use it as an embossing I could cut this off. Use your go press and foil. Don't put any foil. So if I, let's take that red again. If I didn't take any foil, love the satin colors. The satin colors, oh, maybe we'll do it in pink. Love the satin. They're just rich. And I took here and I put this against it, but I didn't add any foil, none, zero. Put this over the top, pull it out, Send it on through. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Okay. You've now embossed your card. Is that just awesome? Trim off the side. Um, wishing you blessings on an embossed piece of card. The mirror and the um, the mirror and the the satin finish do really really well because it's a thicker piece of paper, and the contrast is wonderful. And you don't even have to heat it up. It doesn't have to be heat to do this. You just put your your plate in there and go ahead and emboss away. It's beautiful. It doesn't have to be hot at all. Absolutely beautiful. So. That gives your foil plates a whole nother look. If you don't want to use foil at all, you don't have to. Grab your foil plates and grab your specialty paper. Put it right down on top. Close it right up. Doesn't have to be hot because you're not transferring anything. And send it right through. You're not transferring anything, so that heat isn't important. What is still important is that you itsy bitsy spider it or twinkle twinkle little star it 
or whatever your favorite song is that you kind of sing a little bit slower to remind you to slow that roll. You're not die cutting. It's the pressure that you need. Put it right back in in case I decide I want to do something else. Can you see the tuft? I don't know if I can get it on the camera. It's beautiful though. It's beautiful. Where'd my red go? There's my pink. There's my red. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. All right, so I'm gonna move this out of my way. And what did we do? We played with the stamps that are $9.99 for a 5x7 stamp with the exception of the plaid because you get two 5x7 stamps, so it's $13.99. It's the lowest I can go, folks. It really is, truly. If I could do it for less, I would. Then, and we played with it on mirror paper and on white paper, and we used the Tonic Studios um, Nouveau Pure Sheen Ultra Fine Glitter. Looks stunning. Then we played with my brand new Go press some foil plates. I love the plaid. It makes my heart happy. It doesn't have to be for any one theme. You can use it all year round, depending on the color of foil you use. But if you don't want to use foil at all, you can just use them to do an embossing. Do a letter press. You could ink them and transfer that too. That's another YouTube. So I have tons of samples to show you. Let me get that going. First comes first, here's the foil plate in plaid. You get the both, both plates, and when you put them together, that's what you get. So you can do this plate by itself, this plate by itself, or you can put them together. It is $29.99, I'm so sorry, I wish I could be less, but you get two full-size plates in there. So there's one. Then we have the foil plates for my music notes. Again, use it all year round. Music notes are music notes. And my more Christmas related. And we used this stamp today when we did the glitter. So you have the two. And that's not the size of them on the front. That's the size of them. <laughs> <laughs> they're big and they're $19.99 they are gone when they are gone we can't reorder they're done when they're done they're a one and done so if you love 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 them here we have the stamp two colors combine them and you've got you've made your own plaid paper you can use this stamp by itself you can use this stamp by itself or you can combine them to make your own plaid paper I am proud of my plaid. I really am. A couple people thought I was a little crazy for doing it, but I just think if you're going to add tools to your arsenal, you want tools that you can use consistently, forever, for the rest of your crafting journey. You don't want something that it, it, you can't, you can't, um, as you grow in crafting, it grows with you. And that's how I really try to design my Simply Defined and Simply Refined so that you can take it with you on your crafting journey as, as you grow and change and evolve. My music notes as a stamp, full five by seven, and my holly background as a five by seven. All right, so here's one of the dies that is part of the I Want It All collection. This is Merry Christmas. So you can cut it this way. You can cut the corners. You can cut the corners without the decor. You can layer the corners. You can layer the Merry Christmas. You can have the Merry Christmas just cut out. You can have a background for it. It's up to you. What do you want to do? This die is $9.99 when you buy the six, $59.99 or $13.99 open stock. But even at $13.99, you get so much. There's your card right there. Mat that right onto a card base. Maybe add a little bling here and there, and you're done. There's your card right there. 
then we have Joy to the World. Same thing. There's your card right there. It's done. You can do four. There's the different corners. You can do the shadows for the corners and just use those. You can put them together. You can do the Joy to the World without any background. You can do the Joy to the World with a background or you can just do the frame all by itself. You have so many options. I love the font. It's just pretty and scrolly and just lovely. Then we have, oh, we'll do season's greetings next. Then we have season's greetings. Same thing. There's your card. Done. Bam. You can do the, well, there's the corners. There's two sets of corners, so you can mix and match your corners. There they are when they are layered. Then you've got season's greetings all by itself. You've got season's greetings layered, and you've got just the frame if you just want to use the frame. But bam, there's your card, easy peasy. Then I did three that are for the rest of the year, well, no, two for the rest of the year and one for Thanksgiving. Here is your with much gratitude. And again, bam, there's your card. There are your, <laughs> there are your corners. You get two sets of different corners. There are your corners if you layer them. There's your with much gratitude all by itself. There it is layered. And here's the frame. So this is just cut into the with gratitude is literally cut into the paper and we didn't use the frame at all. We didn't use this piece at all to do this. If we wanted this to be extracted out like this, we have to use the frame and the die. So with much gratitude. Then we have wishing you blessings. Your corners. Now wishing you blessings because it was really tight. There isn't an additional die to frame the corners in. The corners cut into, but don't cut out of. Only because the wishing you blessings was really big. But it's perfect for all year round. For babies, for marriages, for Christmas, for Easter. It's, it's good all year round. Love wishing you blessings. Then we have our Happy Thanksgiving because I didn't realize how hard it is to find Happy Thanksgiving. All cut out. And this time we gave you some decorative elements to play with that you can line into and add. We've given you decorative elements to play with. Easy to do, really easy to do. So here, there's one of the decorative elements that you can play with. Here's another one. So you can have it open all the way around. You can have it with your, um, with your leaves all the way around. We gave you different designs to play with so that you could make the spacing in between here and here what you want it to be. Okay, then we have our must-haves. It's circles this month, circle scallops. If you have the original must-haves for circles, you're going to want these because everything is going to work in conjunction with the very first set. Now, there are 37 dies in here. The set retails for $29.99. It allows you to do everything from your scalloped circles to banners, but then you've got, it does the big dots in here. It does dot and dash. It does your picture frame. 
love this one. This might be, I think, I, I just love how these look. It does it all. Really, it does. And then if you use it with the conjunction with the first set, you can mix and match. So you can use the, um, the hash marks, the little dots, the big dashes. They will all intermatch. So if you have the first set, you're going to want to get the second set. And if you don't have the first set, then you might want to get them both. So these are my must-haves. 37 dies in there for $29.99. It gives you everything you need. Okay, then let's get to some samples really quick. So we've got, I'm guessing that this is Sharon. Here's Sharon's Happy Thanksgiving. See, isn't it beautiful on Matt? And she's glittered the back. Remember I told you, you get different pieces to fit here so you can cut it whatever you want. And then with much gratitude and here she used the here she used the stamp and then the die and season's greetings all die cut out so there's Sharon here we have Claire and Claire has done Joy to the world. Oh, Claire, here she just used the background. That's just one of the frames. That's cool, Claire, love that. So she just used one of the frames to the die and that's the frame to go to Joy to the world. Oh, Claire, <laughs> here she's played with the foils. That's my plaid. So that one and that one and that one is cut from my plaid foil. What a great guy card. This is Claire. Here we have Joy to the World. Isn't that beautiful? And here she used my music note foil background. This is mine, and here she cut this out of a piece of paper and used my must-haves, the circles. Here she's played with foil again in my plaid. And last but not least, wishing you blessings. And here she took the, she took the negative and taped it on down. Wishing you blessings. So that is Claire. Then we have Michelle. And Michelle has Happy Thanksgiving. And she has Merry Christmas. And she owed oh, another Merry Christmas. This is Michelle. Then we have Doris. And Doris has Wishing You Blessings. And she has With Much Gratitude. She has happy birthday. Now, happy birthday's from my first set of with sentiment. <laughs> it's not part of this one. It was with set one and or the first set, and I don't know that there's any happy birthdays left. But she used my music note foil for the background on the satin paper. It's beautiful. And she has. Oh, Doris, I love the plaid. And then she covered it with vellum. She made the plaid background and then covered it with vellum and put Joy to the World on it to soften it up. Love, love, love. So the plaid background was used with my foil plates and here's my Joy to the World. 
Okay, Belinda. What do we have from Belinda this month? <laughs> okay, well, Belinda saw the frame. This is the frame that goes with the Thanksgiving, or with the Happy Thanksgiving. And she decided we were gonna do, she saw doggy bones, obviously. <laughs> and she's made the cutest little doggy banner with all the little doggies on it. And that's so cute. So this is actually the frame that goes with the, uh, the th Happy Thanksgiving. But she saw doggy bones. Very clever, very, very, very clever. Love Belinda. And then she's got wishing you blessings. And then she's got her little mixed media page where she has used my stamp. And she, I think she marabou marbled this and then stamped over the top of the marabou marbling and then her did her paper doll. And last but not least, oh no, two. Hey, hot stuff, she used my circles to do this one and my ovals. That's so cute. She used my must-haves here. And she used my must-haves here with my Pergamano die there. This is Belinda. And last but not least, oh, Elena, holy smokes, artichokes. We've got Elena with her Merry Christmas. Look at this with the plaid on the silver mirror. No, it's on black mirror. Black mirror with the silver and the gold for, uh, for congratulations. See, the plaid doesn't, ha the plaid is what you make of it. Here we've done the plaid again with Saint Nick and she used the frame to one of the words, one of the sentiment dies. This is all done with the go press and foil. Oh, look at how beautiful is this one. Noelle, she used my go press and foil music notes and then my must haves to cut that out of some paper she must have found. But how beautiful is that? Here she just stamped with my five by seven background stamp and colored in. Here she stamped in distressed. Here she just used the backgrounds. She found the word Christmas in paper and she just cut the background. And for the green background, she cut the green background out of the same hair, only she cut the green in half and split it and opened it up just a little so it would create a shadow. But then she used my foil plate to do the holly background. So pretty. Here's my plaid as a stamp and she used purples and or a light pink and a blue to kind of give it a retro feel. That's my stamp, the plaid stamp. And here's my must haves, totally retro. And then she did, I think, two banners? Yes, she did two. So you have wishing you blessings, happy Thanksgiving, and with much gratitude. She used the must-haves. She popped it. No shaker in there. <laughs> but she tied it together with burlap, and you have all three circles. Wish I could get the whole banner in the camera, but I can't. But she made a beautiful, beautiful hanging banner out of wishing you blessings. Happy Thanksgiving, and with much gratitude. And then she did the same using the three that are for Christmas. So you've got your season's greetings, joy to the world, and Merry Christmas, all in a, a vertical hanging banner. Done with my must-haves, 
circles. She popped them. She used my foam to pop it. She used some burlap to connect them all and hanging. So pretty. All right. Oh, <laughs> this is long. Oh, well. <laughs> It was a lot to show. <laughs> okay, you guys, it's me, Stacy. Scrapbooking made simple. Where are you gonna get all of these things? Well, it is simply defined, and those are my collections and my dies, and I manufacture them, so you're only gonna get them here at Scrapbooking Made Simple. They are a one and done, so when they're gone, they're gone. I'm so very sorry, but they're at a price that I think everybody can afford. Scrapbookingmadesimple.com is where you'll find them. Look under the YouTube Yummy category or under the um, exclusive Scrapbooking Made Simple Simply Defined, Simply Refined category, and I hope you had a good time. I will see you next week. Don't forget to post your comment if you want to be a winner, winner, chicken dinner. And again, it's me, Stacy, Scrapbooking Made Simple, scrapbookingmadesimple.com. I'll see you guys later. Hope you loved everything. Bye.